Well, what do we have here? We got a free thing that I was crazy enough to take ownership of. Um, here I am, a photographer, and I'm backlighting my subject. Um, this is a Noritsu four or QSF 430L three U, and it is uh, free because. Uh, unfortunately, the poor guy who had the Photoshop just came from, uh, he uh, couldn't pay his lease or something and left all his stuff behind and it was going to get thrown out. So I saved it from the dumpster, figuring I'd get it working. And, uh, you know, apparently it was working up till fairly recently and then something very bad happened. Actually, we can see that over here. I'll have to open this drawer. This magic drawer. No, this magic drawer. Alright. We have the main relay circuit board. And it's roasted. Somebody done let the smoke out of it. Here, let's let's hold it in the light. Like a good photographer would, but try to avoid the glare. There we go. Is that focusing? Not really. Crappy droid. Anyway. That's what happened to it. So even from the get-go, let alone all the crusty crud and stalactites and stalagmites. See, you know, God only knows where that came from because this thing got, you know, kind of bounced around and moving. That could have come from anywhere. Look at all that crud down there at the bottom when I pulled the side open. This is definitely the before picture. Um, so, we have a daunting restoration ahead here. Uh, but I intend to make this thing run, and, ah uh, yes, that's nice to own that. I've got a tiny room for it, but it's a pretty tiny machine, actually. I'm surprised how reasonably sized this thing is. I'm going to have to wire up a, have to wire up a 20 amp circuit or something like that and feed that sucker. So I think, I think it might, might only be around 10 amps at 220. I think this thing runs at 220. I'm going to have to really look at the power supply before I plug it in, but not too bad. The uh, upper rack, upper turns are in good shape. Uh, that one's got a little calcium on it. It's going to have to be cleaned. Hood works. The film loading receptacle there. So, just fix all the leaks, clean off all the boogers, scrub all the tanks down, which are big welded kind of PVC type material. It looks pretty thick. From the feeling, this edge here, it looks, yeah, it's pretty thick. Even if that's only two of the surfaces glued together. Um, so we have an air pump here that probably tired and old. We'll have to get all this stuff going. All the sensors, low low level sensors for the replenisher tanks. Um, it's in pretty good shape actually. A little dirty. A little neglected, pardon me, while I pan the camera around wildly as I lift things to the ground. I can only do one or two things at once here. Get some crud off the top, and we have voila the inside. As you can see, I've got three of the three of the racks out for cleaning over here in this scoop away tub. Scoop away tub seems just about right for holding three racks at the proper level for soaking, and the gears hang out. You can clean those with a brush or whatever. It's perfect. And too bad we have seven racks, so it would take. 2.33333 scoop away tubs to efficiently house all this stuff. The number one rack is too deep though. I don't lock that. Number one rack is too deep to soak a scoop away. That's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. There we go. The phone, whatever it is these days. I'm going to do something I'm supposed to do. I'm going to shoot vertical video. 
See, so I can fit it all in. Oh, it looks such so good right now when I'm shooting it, but you on YouTube are fucking hating me for doing that. Okay, I'll stop. All right, so I'll put that back. Um, so yeah, we got some boogers in there. I believe that's, uh, what is that, bleach fix? Is it fix or bleach? I think it's, let's see, it's color developer, bleach, fix, fix, no, color developer, bleach, fix, fix, stable, stable, stable. I think that's how that works. I think that's how that works. Yeah, color developer, bleach, fix, stable, yeah, it can't be right, no, color developer, bleach, fix, fix, stable, 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 that's what it is, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, she smells a little ripe, definitely got some chemistry lingering, that's alright, all oh, the rollers look like they're in pretty good shape, oh. Don't clo try to close it when you got one of the... By the way, don't ever do what I just did. See these things here? When you pull out the... These lock the... Uh, these lock the upper turn guides down in place. Um, and when it's like that, this little bar here on the lid will not close. It's, it's actually designed to do that so you can vent the thing at night when you're done you know, using it. Uh, but you're supposed to have them all like that because you're supposed to have the upper turn guide soaking. You're supposed to put this down gently, and you're supposed to have seven or so of these supporting the weight of this lid. But if you do what I just did, and just leave one of these cockeyed... Uh, I don't know, I guess they were all cockeyed, weren't they? Anyway. Don't slam down the freaking lid, is the point. What am I doing here? Oh, wait. Hello! laughing at me now. What is he, drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I'm, I'm not rich enough to be drunk today. I'm drinking Kool-Aid. No, just plain Kool-Aid. Ah, if you're wondering what that music is in the background, that's Edgar Meyer and Chris Thiele. Big thumbs up for them. Let's see what else do we have here. We've got Got the two waste, two waste tanks. They're in good shape, and the hoses seem to be pretty trouble-free. Looks like I need to wipe down the spigots a little bit after draining this thing before moving it. And well, yeah. well, I'll keep you all posted on the progress of this thing. It should be, should be pretty fun. I'm sure it'll be frustrating. Fixing that circuit board is going to be hell, but why not, right? All right. Bye for now.